Hello, I've got my son Jonathan here with me today and we're looking at two maths questions. Question 46. What are the coordinates of point Q? As seen on the photo on the right side, we have three different points. Points 27, point 72 and the unknown point which we are given called Q. Q lies on the right diagonal of the shape shown in the photo. In coordinates, any different point that is vertically, directly vertically above a point on the x-axis or directly horizontal on a point on the y-axis shares the x-axis value or the y-axis value respectively. Therefore, we can tell that 72 shares the same x-axis point as Q which allows us to infer that Q starts with the number 7. We can also then infer as 2, 7 has the same y-axis value, we can then tell that Q is called 7, 7, therefore giving us the answer of D. Now we move on to question 47. It reads, Cleve has a bag of tennis balls. Eight are green seven are yellow and five are white. He picks a tennis ball at random. What is the probability that he picks one that is not green? What do you think? Take a second to think about this question. Okay, this is a normal and Although it does look hard, it's an easy probability question. We are told that he has eight green balls, seven yellow balls, and five white balls. Therefore, meaning that the probability of getting each one is the number of each one over the total of each one. So we need to add eight, seven, and five. Eight plus seven is 15, plus five is 20. So now we know that the probability of getting a green ball is 8 over 20, the probability of getting a yellow ball is 7 over 20, and the probability of getting a white ball is 5 over 20. Now the question asks us to find one to find the probability of picking one that is not green. Therefore, we need to add the values of yellow and white together. 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. And as we have 20 balls, we have 12 over 20, meaning that the probability is equal to 12 over 20. However, when you look at the answers, 12 over 20 does not feature on the list. So we need to simplify it. You can do this by dividing by two to get six over 10. And if this still doesn't work, which it doesn't in this example, you can halve it again to get three over five, therefore giving you an answer of A, A. three over five. So that gives us the answer of A, 3 over 5. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure that you like and leave a comment so that we know that these videos are helpful. If we see a lot of comments, then we will do daily videos on the 11 plus questions. Bye for now. Thank you.